Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to Moodle Moo, Moodle for Teachers Evo for 2014. Um, and uh, this is Nellie Deutsch and it looks like uh, the class has started. So just let me know in the chat box uh, where you are, what you're doing, and anything that comes to mind. We're going to hopefully be able to screen share today so that I can make uh, life a bit easier for you. I see Nancy's here. Hi, Nancy. Good to see you. It was good to see you in the other class as well. And Marco's here from Italy. Yeah, if you could add where you're from or where you'd like to be from. Okay, I know where I'd like to be from. Today, uh, we can choose wherever we want to be from and just add it in the chat. So uh, let's see the ocean, <laughs> the middle of the ocean, Susan. Really? In a boat? You mean you like boats? Or just in another island, not just Hawaii? Oh, we've got El Salvador. How nice. I didn't know you were there from there, Javier. And uh, let's see. India, it must be really late at night for you. Let me uh, drink for a sec. And um, any other island? Venezuela. As long as it's warm, eh? Chicagoland, Harriet, that sounds great. The island of Chicago. And... Um, someone else from Italy. That's great. Arctic, no, too cold in the Arctic. Serbia. So we've got two people from Venezuela, England. John? John? Yes, John, I was just trying to get you on Skype. Uh, thank you for sending me the article. It looks really interesting and I've been trying to uh, get my fingers on Evernote. Turned out that I've been a member since 2009. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm a member of. So when I uh, register, it usually tells me that you're a member already. All right. So yes, I'm on Skype on the other computer. So that's great. All right. So let's get started. Week four. We're starting week four. Can you believe that? You've been working so hard. And Thomas, I think I'm going to send you to Hawaii. <laughs> We'll go to Hawaii together for a vacation after these uh, uh, Moodle workshops, Moodle courses. Uh, Thomas, we really have to uh, give Thomas, I don't know what to give you, but uh, <laughs> Thomas has been amazing, absolutely amazing uh, with supporting everyone. And just to think that Thomas was just like you a couple of i don't know how long has it been thomas not that long i don't know how long it's been internet years are a bit longer than normal years but thomas started out um you know learning about moodle oh 2011 wow it's been three years wow okay that's like a million years so yes thomas started as a moodle for teachers participant just like you guys and look at him today uh, so uh, Thomas is really, yeah, amazing. Teachers, I mean, students become teachers, teachers become students, you know, it's all mixed up. Moodle for teachers, oh, oh, was the orientation. That's, that's ancient history. Is Ludmilla here? I'm sure, Nancy, you remember Moodle for teachers, oh? Wow, that's, that's way back. All right, so yes, it's been a long time. Um, Harriet's also graduate. We used to call them uh, alumni, Moodle for Teachers alumni. All right, so uh, today it's about uh, the blocks, and the blocks are really important because they give you that extra special features on Moodle. But they also do something very negative that all of you have been talking about, and that's S-L-O-W, slow. Yes, 
it's the uh, blocks that make Moodle very, very slow. So you're going to, you've been uh, pointing out, I wouldn't say the word complaining, but you've been pointing out that Moodle has been very, very slow in the TPA. Okay, TPA sounds like a teacher parents association. <laughs> in the TPA, it's been very, very slow. And why hasn't has it been slow? Hello, Duma. Good to see you. From, we've got Romania. Yes, it's been slow, and you've been very, very courageous to uh, work under slow conditions. But that's it. Um, the uh, Moodle becomes slow when there are a lot of blocks open. And there are a lot of what's called sections. And a lot of people are working on different sections. But not only as students. The problem is when there are too many teachers on the block. Yes, too many teachers on the block causes the Moodle to be slow. Moodle is not slow at all for students. And generally, in a course, how many teachers would you expect in a Moodle course? 500? 1,000? All working, busy. You would expect maybe three or four or maybe five. Okay, 20 is fine, but not as many as 300 open sections. All right, and that's the reason why it's slow. It's slow because there are too many teachers with the role of a teacher. Okay, once, and we'll be talking about the hierarchy, and you'll get a chance to see the hierarchy. Okay, um, the hierarchy at the top, and then next to the top, and so on. The higher you are, the slower it gets if you are, as an administrator, for example, on Moodle. So it's recommended that if you go into a Moodle course with your students, you go in as a student, not as a teacher. And you only work as a teacher, but not respond as a teacher. We'll talk about that and why it's important to know about the different roles and what it means to have different roles. Okay, so just as a little um, background for those of you that need it, there are two main areas as the WizIQ, where uh, I think Nancy also pointed it out in one of her uh, responses that everything will remain. You'll be able to get all the live sessions and the PowerPoint presentations, and we will stay connected in the WizIQ course area because that area will stay for as long as WizIQ is around. All right. We also have the live online classes there, the recordings, and so on. Now, the other area is the Moodle area, and there are two areas. Now, there'll be three areas. There's the Moodle student course, where everything should be much faster. Okay, uh, hello, Marina. You don't get a, a notice or anything for being late online. Online, you can be late. It's okay. So, um, the Moodle student course is much faster because you're in as a student. And I've told this to Thomas as well to go in as a student because it's a lot faster. If you go in as a manager or you go in as a teacher, it'll be slower. All right, because you have a lot of uh, rights and these rights slow you down. So being a teacher slows you down when there are 300, 400 teachers with you. The teacher practice area is where you have editing rights as a teacher. And um, the Moodle for managers practice area, you're going to have manager rights to that course. Okay, not only to, not to the whole Moodle, but only to that course you will be managers. And as managers, you have a chance to see the blocks and set the blocks. Okay, so um, that's an overview. The next important thing, of course, are the badges. Everybody wants a badge. How many of you have badges already? Okay, thumbs up if you have at least one badge. Even I have a badge. I have one for week three. 
as a student, of course. Okay, so, uh, oh, Star Martinez, you have two. Does that mean you have two badges? Okay, oh, three Marino, wow. All right, so at least one. How many of you have two badges? Okay, two badges. Wow, I see three badges. Anybody have four badges? Is Veronica here? I think someone has four because they snuck in there before I close the door. <laughs> All right, three badges. Way to go, Helena. You'll get there. You'll get there. It takes time, but you'll get there. <laughs> Thomas has the sheriff's badge. That's great. We should have badges for the uh, managers. Two. Okay, Jack, you got three. Congratulations. Okay, that's great. <laughs> you can police the block as a manager. Yes, you can. All right. So um, week four, week three, the only way to get a badge, if you don't have a badge yet, first of all, it's very easy. You need to view support form activity and you need to do the activity form and respond to someone else by doing that means you have to do everything that you're required to do and if you don't the sheriff will come in and move your work to the support form now notice i think you got the idea as teachers and you'll see this in the manager's role you're able to move if a discussion is in the wrong place you can easily move it. And I think it's a lot of fun. Okay, yes, it's move over. That's right, it's all move. Interesting, eh? Week four, week four is pretty easy. I think it's probably the easiest badge that you're going to get. M4M means Moodle for Managers. So you're going to view the support. You don't have to, you can write, but you don't have to do more than view it, but you have to click on it or the tracker, the Moodle tracker doesn't track you. So you can't just look at it. You have to click on it. Okay, I think you got that. View means you go in there. Okay, and then you do the blocks form. There's a form for the blocks and you respond to another one other person based on your work in the MPM in the Moodle for Te in the Moodle for managers. Okay, that's where you're going to get the information. So you can't respond by getting the information from the TPA. So actually, in week four, you can leave the TPA. Yay! It's too slow, anyways, right? So you're allowed to leave the TPA. You've graduated. Okay, now you're going to the next level. And the next level is out of the TPA. So everybody, let me know if you're happy about leaving the TPA. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you're going to be happy. I don't even go in there because it's slow for me to. Okay, so you're going to be out of the TPA for the next two weeks. For weeks four and five, you don't need the TPA so it's going to be, a, you're sad. So finish the work. See, if a lot of people leave the TPA, um, Susan and Guadalupe, it's going to be a lot faster. Less teachers, faster. Okay, so finish it first. And then, so this will give you an incentive to finish quickly, get out of the TPA and, um, into much something much faster all right so for week four you have to again similar to week three but using the Moodle for managers course area and I'd like to mention that uh, our facilitators are always around there's Thomas with his head up I hope your head is still up and that you're not tired where your head just falls on your keyboard I had a close friend that I used to have to wake up from her keyboard. She would fall asleep literally on her keyboard. All right. There is Helena, always smiling. Ludmilla, who's been very, very busy and uh, she hasn't had time to come in. And Nancy, who always comes in and tries to help along. 
and I have been trying to be there as much as I can. I always I read all your mail, and um, and I try to make sure that I move you before you get a badge, so that you don't get the badge before you do the work. Which is why we don't uh, publish the badge until after you do the work. Okay? Do I sleep? Of course I sleep. Will I sleep in the month of February? Probably not because I have over 72 live classes in February. So it's going to be a very, very uh, busy month. March is going to be easier. So I'm looking forward to that. But yes, February is always a big, a difficult month. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, go to the management or the Moodle for managers right now. So uh, this class is going to be a little bit of traveling. Cross your fingers and let's hope the screen sharing works on my Mac with more than two people. So right now it's frozen. It looks like it's going to work. No, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. <gasps> I can't believe it. I know what the problem is. I know what the problem is. Oh my gosh. I just found out what the problem is. It's my... Let me fix it very, very quickly. The problem is... My security settings are too high for the Java. Okay, so let me just fix this in one second. It'll take a second to fix this. Um, okay, hold on. So while you're waiting, I'd like you to go into the Moodle for Teachers and see if you can get into the Moodle for managers and I'm going to lower my preferences here and that should work okay let me try it again I try to be smart and being smart is not always a good thing Nope, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. I can't believe it. I messed it up. Uh, the screen sharing is not going to work. Is support here to help me out? Okay, bye-bye, John. And um, yes, it looks like it's not going to work uh, because uh, my Mac doesn't like the Java for some reason. It worked before. And it's not working now. Let's see if I can get WizIQ to help me. Nope. All right. Okay, so it's not going to work. Um, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go to the Moodle for managers right now so that I can open the door for you since I can not screen share. So we're going to do it a bit differently. Okay, so I'll tell you what to do. All right, so you go into Moodle for Teachers and I'm going to screen share this so you can see it on YouTube videos. Okay, when I uh, share it with you later on. So you go into the course, okay, the Moodle for teacher, Teachers Evo 1-4. Okay, I hope you're doing that now as I'm doing it. And then you go into week four. Okay, so click on the tab 
on week four. Let me know if you can hear me. Everybody okay? Can everybody hear me? Yes, I can see you can hear me. Okay, let me continue so that you can see this on YouTube later on. And then you go into where it says blocks in Moodle. You see it opened up. I timed it. What I did was there is a way for you to hide things until a certain day and hour and second. And then it opens up. Okay, so now this is open. And you're going to go in. I think it's open. Yes. Um, into the Moodle for Managers course. Click on that. You'll see it. Okay. And then you see it's closed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up for you. All right. Isn't that nice of me? I'll open it up for you. Okay, let's do that now so that you can go into it. Okay, I closed it up. So now it's open and you can go into it. But let me just make sure that everything is wide open for you. Okay, make sure that... Okay, yes, I added a key here. So I'm going to give you the key in the chat. Okay, let me share the key in the chat so you can go in there. All right, because we don't want everybody going in there. So there's the key. But let me take it out just a second. All right, there is the key. Do you see it? There it is. That's the key. Copy the key so that you can go into the Moodle for managers right now. Sean, you don't need to enroll. Even in the course, yes, there's a key. So, Glochino, did you go in already? You get in without the key? How can you get in without the key? Are you sure? You got in without the key? How many people got in without the key? How can you get in without the key? No, 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 okay. Uh, I put the key and it's done. Oh, okay. That was fast. With the key. All right. No, I thought. Okay, so everybody had. See, Marco was in there and then I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I hid it from you because I didn't want you to go in before this class. I wanted to screen share and explain things to you, but uh, for some reason the screen sharing apparatus doesn't seem to want to work for me right now it's playing um, with me here but I'm sure it'll work very soon all right so now everybody's in there right let me know if you're in there give me a thumbs up if you're in the managers because I'm gonna tell you what to do Okay, so you're going to listen to me. Okay, you're all in. All right, great. W.A. Wilson, good to see you. All right. Oh, no, Harriet's not in. Harriet? Uh, can someone share the link with Harriet in the chat box? No, I don't mean it. Not, not the password. The link, because maybe Harriet doesn't have the... That's it. So that's the link to the Moodle for Managers. Okay, there it is, Harriet. So all you have to do is add the key. Okay. Oh, Helena, you've got a different one. And Monica, you've got a discussion forum. But... Uh, it, it should end with a four at the end. Okay, so let's go back to the course. Okay, so just listen to my voice as uh, I explain what to do. Okay, so what you're going to do, because I can screen share, you'll see this on YouTube later on. Okay, so let's go back to the course M4M. 
And let's see how many of you are in here right now. And this is, see, I'm not going to open the block. I want to show you what blocks are. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at how many people are here. Okay, great. Okay, I see that. Um, okay, so what I'm going to show you now is the block. Okay, this is the block. It's on the left, but it doesn't have to be, it could be on the right, but right now it's on the left. Okay, so if you go into the course, there is learning and teaching online, there's creating engaging activities, and there's a community practice area. After you do, you know, whatever is there, you go to the community practice area, Okay, and this is where you can practice your work as a manager. Okay, so the first thing you will do is you will open up this. You'll be able to click on the edit summary and do a lot of things. Okay, you'll have a whole world open to you that you haven't had before as a teacher. And I think you'll learn to appreciate it because as a teacher, you are limited in many ways. But as a manager of a course, you have a lot of things to do, okay? And they're mostly on the left, okay? On the left, you'll see, let me go in as you. I'll go in as a manager so I can share what you can see, okay? So in the course administration, you have a lot of rights here, and you can do a lot of damage, so be careful. Don't touch anything here. Just look at it. You're here to learn, not to create or do anything. You're only here to observe, okay? So you don't create anything, okay? You only look at what you can do. You go into edit settings, into users, filters, go into all these course administration links because notice they are brown dark brown brownish red which means they are links they take you to different pages all right so scroll down you'll be able to see don't click on any x's or anything do not delete just observe okay and then you have what's called add a block at the bottom left Take a look at these, you can add them, but then delete the ones that you add so other people can also use them. Okay, so in week four, you're going to be very, very respectful of other people. Do not delete anything and leave whatever is on the left, leave it as is. Just observe, take a look at things, screen share, ask questions. And where are you going to ask questions? Not in the Moodle for managers. You're going to go back into your section, okay, into the view support for blocks form. And that's where you're going to ask questions, okay? You're not going to ask questions in the um, Moodle for managers. You're only going to ask questions in the course. Okay, so you're going to ask your questions here. Any questions about where to ask questions and where to get support? And then when you find, when you do the tasks, you'll do them here. And you'll get screenshots from the Moodle for managers. Okay, everybody get it? Number one, you go into Moodle for managers as an observer. You're not going to do anything observer. Okay, you will just take a look at what's there because if you change anything, <laughs> and you can, you have the right to make any changes that you want, which is why we do not, and go back to the course as a student and respond in week four. What happened in one school in uh, Paraguay, I was in Paraguay in August, and I gave a teacher professional development on Moodle and other things in a face-to-face -face, uh, school. And one of the schools there allowed all their teachers to be managers. 
of the whole website. So every course had the teachers as managers, which meant the teachers were going into each other's work. They were deleting, they were, it, it was a mess. So if you ever have a Moodle, do not make your teachers managers. Okay, it causes a mess. I don't see any options in my view of CPA. Sorry, what is a CPA? Jack? Yes, Susan, you're a Moodle manager, but you only look at things. You do not interfere. You're only there to observe and learn what a manager about a manager's role. And I think there's some things missing here. The role of a manager. I think I missed a, a slide here about the different roles. Something went wrong here. All right, so let's take a look at the different roles. What roles are there? Okay, from the top down. I don't know why. First of all, there's the administrator, admin. Okay, after the admin, and the admin a can do a lot of things, but shouldn't go in as an admin only when they have work to do. And there's, there's the manager of the whole Moodle, and there's also a manager of each course. And the manager of a course has more rights than a teacher. A manager can change the layout of the course. A teacher cannot. A teacher can only do what you've been doing in the TPA. In the Moodle for M, you'll see that a manager can do a lot more. But if you start doing it, if we have 300, 400 people making changes, um, you're not going to be able to learn very much. Okay, so uh, in week four, it's going to be fast. You're going to observe and learn. And students, of course, have less rights. Uh, let's see, why is Harriet having a problem? You can't enter in the Moodle for managers. And you tried? Let's see what's going on here. Uh, let's see how many people are in here. If you're not, I can add you. Okay, so let's see who needs to be added, and then I can show you on YouTube how it's possible to add. Actually, you know what? You can add Harriet. Let's, you do it. Okay, let's do something that only managers can do. Okay, but I see 29 people are there, and um, actually you can add Harriet. How do you add Harriet? I see Ramesh is here too. I didn't know you were here, Ramesh. Now I can see who's in the class. So almost everybody's here. You all made it. And Harriet's here too. Harriet, you're in here. You think you're not, but you're there. So Harriet, you're in there. That's why you can't add, because you're there already. You didn't realize you were there. So who's lost? Ah, uh, Marina and Lisa? Marina, let's see. Marina's not there. Marina, Marina. All right, so you're going to see this through, um, this is how you add. You go into this little thing here, editor. You click on it, and um, we're going to add Marina. Okay, I see it's only cohort. Isn't that interesting? Why is it cohort? Oh, because I didn't allow it. Oh, good thing. I'm, I'm smarter than I thought. Very good. So you have to, I can't add you. And I don't want to add. Okay, great. So what you're going to have to do is go in and add yourself. Very smart. Okay. And the reason I can't add is because I'm not a manager. Okay. So 
So ladies, you're going to have to add your somebody else did, okay, with the uh, key. So the link, once again, okay, let's get the link here. And you have the key. All right, so there it is. 72, what is that, 72? I saw 72 there. I put the link and it says enrollment key. Right, so add the enrollment key, and you know what it is. Lorenzo has added it, and Javier. You know, I'm really, I'm really impressed. You know, I, I really am impressed by your progress. You are doing so well and so quickly. Maybe Moodle is becoming easier, Nancy. I don't know. But everybody seems to be doing so well, eh? All right, I'm going to give Nancy. I don't know if uh, Thomas has... Um, Thomas, can we see you? Can we hear you? Well, we've seen you before. But can we hear you today? Is it possible? Nancy, I hope you're okay because I just passed on. You can always uh, refuse it. Anybody else would like to, uh, let's see, do we need the key? No, you don't need it again, Sabrina. Once you're in, you're in, unless I kick you out. But no. Next week? Yay! All right, so I suggest you get in touch maybe with WizIQ. Maybe you can help. Got to run. Ah, oh, sorry, Nancy. I was hoping to see you. Who else is here? Let's see. Uh, so Thomas. Anybody else would like the mic to maybe ask a question? Where is the key? Marco, aren't you in there? I thought you were in there. Let's see, Marco. The key is in the chat box. Let's see, Mark, Marco, you're in there. You don't need the key. You're in there now. I see you 31 seconds ago. You joined 31 seconds. So you're in. Everybody seems to be in. Lisa's in. Le Monica? Yes, you are. Um, why not Mount Orange? Ah, uh, because Mount Orange doesn't really... I was very disappointed. I, I did recommend Mount Orange. You're right, Tom. But I decided not to because it, it didn't really um, allow you to do very much. So I think that um, it's a lot better to take a look at a uh, manager of a course. Well, we'll have 2.6 in the next MOOC. I, just, I mentioned it. Um, we're going to have 2.6, maybe 2.8 at uh, Moodle for Teachers Evo for 2015. But in June, for the month, in the month of June, you'll have a chance to practice in 2.6. Those of you that are curious, and want to do it beforehand, you can contact me. Tom, if, you, if you're interested, uh, you're welcome. I have a Moodle for teachers. I have a 2.6. And uh, Moodle for teachers is going to be 2.6 in June for sure. Um, it's moodleforteacher.com. That's another of my uh, Moodle websites. Okay, so there it's 2.6 already. Yeah, June. You know, uh, by the way, uh, 2.6 is very different. You might not like it because the editor is completely different. It doesn't have the wonderful features. It's not as rich as 2.5. Yeah, 2.61 uh, is the best, not 2.6. You're right. It's two. It's always 2.6 plus. Um, that's always better because it's been tested. 
and um, it doesn't have all the features, then why using it? Because it's um, the next one. They're trying to do different things. Um, Guadalupe. The editor is different, and I'm not sure I like it. Okay, so Giochino, you can maybe tell us how you feel about it. I've been using it for about a, a month or two. Yes, it is work in progress. They're trying out a new editor, um, and it's not as good. No, you should be very careful if, um, about upgrading. You shouldn't do it too quickly. You don't do it as soon as it comes out. You wait until they test it and until they find all the bugs. Because don't forget, Moodle is an open source, which means that a lot of people are working on it. And um, you don't want your students to be in the middle of, you know, of problems because of Moodle. So um, I would go slowly. I wouldn't. Um, I would stay with 2.5 for a while until maybe 2.7 comes up. 2.4 wasn't very good. It was very slow. 2.5 is much faster. 2.6 isn't any faster. It's just a bit different. Yep, yeah, 2.5 is really good. And you'll have a chance to see 2.6 in June. So you'll have some time off. Any, any questions about uh, right now? No, 2.2 was horrible. 2.2 was really bad. Okay, uh, Tom, it was really, really bad. And 2.4 wasn't that great either. Are there any questions about week four? What can and can't? Well, you're there in Moodle for um, managers to observe. If you want to practice, it's the same. There's nothing to practice, okay, except for the blocks. Go into the blocks, see what's there. You can click on something, open it, take a look at it, and close it. And let somebody else open it. Because you see, if one person opens a block, and there are a lot of things under the block, then other people won't be able to open it because it'll be open. The blocks, W.A. Wilson, are on the left. Okay, let me show it to you so you can see this on... Um, when you see uh, the recording on YouTube. Okay, this is a block. Okay, you can't see it right now. It's on the bottom left. Okay, there is a block. And if you open it, okay, you'll be able to see different things. The blocks are usually on the left and right. They're not in the middle. And you can add administrator, bookmarks, blog menu, blog tags, calendar, community finder, course completion, um, feedback, HTML, logged in user, mentees. Try these out. Upcoming events, tags, self completion. Now, the tags that are here, the random glossary is the tag. Okay, let me delete it so you can add it. Okay, there. And you'll see. Okay, there, I deleted it. I'll delete all the blocks and then you can open it up and see what's there. Everything on the left and right are blocks. This is a navigation block. We don't delete that because we need it. The administration block, don't delete it because you'll need it. Comments box, I can delete it. Okay, there I see Marco wrote something. Can I comment? Of course you can, but I just deleted the comment block. So the comment is a block. It's not an activity. Notice what else is here. People block. This is a people block. Let me delete the people block so that you can add it and then delete it so somebody else can add it. Okay, that's the idea. What I want you to do is, okay, the user, you see online users, I'm going to delete this block. 
okay I deleted the block so that you can open it and close it again open and delete but only delete where you start okay and activity block I'm going to delete it okay you'll see this on YouTube video so um, look out for it there so you can add the activity block what else is here latest news block let me delete it so you can add it and delete it what else um, okay that's all the blocks on the left that's it I've deleted all the blocks okay there are no more blocks okay so you'll have a chance to open a block if you want and delete it should I take off the course administration block let's do that you'll be completely lost without it you see it's called configure administration block but I can't delete it I can only configure it not everything can be deleted okay so here's how I configure it same thing with the navigation block you cannot delete it unless you're the administrator okay and then this is what it looks like so take a look observe learn take photos like a spy okay use the screencast to take photos and that's it okay I'm not sure how I can add blocks I suggest you use a startup curation tool what is this oh Duma's advertising in the chat box <laughs> all right any questions like spy yes Janvier. you take a photo okay you open something take a photo and close it open something take a photo and close it take a look at the questions for week four and get the answers from the Moodle for managers will there be tutorials for managing blocks you want me to create a tutorial or you're going to cre create a tutorial what do you think is better for you if I create it or if you create it uh, Rosie I love creating tutorials so um, me <laughs> really me Roberta you don't think that would be better if uh, you create it I might make a mess how can you make a mess you did a great job with the uh, activities and with the resources so you're an expert now you can do it all right so you'd like me to make one and then you'll make one afterwards all right a deal yes you do and the best way to remember what you learn is to to do it make mistakes fix it make mistakes fix it that's how you learn and remember <laughs> no Isabella doesn't like it I don't have it clear how can I add blocks all right so you'll see the video of this uh, session and you'll see how to create it actually I've done it for you all right so I'm gonna close this class add it to YouTube and where would you like the YouTube to appear any preferences where you like the YouTube to appear exactly Rosie you got it exactly so I'm still waiting to hear from you where would you like the YouTube video to appear of um, what I showed you and you didn't see I was hoping to screen share today but for some reason it's not working even though it worked before the class where yes where would you like me to add the YouTube video of how to um, get a block how to open the block and how to add it to a course no no 
support marina has an answer support for week four any other suggestions yes in a block susan where put it in a block okay in the course feed that's a great idea guadalupe no I'm, i don't know if i'm going to put anything there but maybe i will all right everybody so um look out for the youtube video so that you can see how to open blocks oh you found a block that's great all right so moodle blocks you have to apply for the guineas of recovery for the biggest group covering the largest area <laughs> that's cute rosie thank you you apply for me all right thank you everyone <laughs> have a wonderful rest of the weekend and join the mooc presentations okay there are 28 presentations really interesting ones not only about technology but about other things as well relationships pressure life all kinds of really interesting things